Welcome to poverty, where being broke is the norm. Budget gaming, the way to get lots of games for a good price. You see, some people say video games are expensive. Those are probably the same people who own more than one PS5. It's all about perspective and how new and shiny the thing is. Of course a powerful new video game console packed with modern technology is going to be expensive. It's expected at this point. And new video games can be expensive at first, but if you give it some time it'll eventually go on sale or you can buy a used for cheaper. You see, you can get a good console and games for a decent price. It just might mean you might have to go back a generation. I mean, the PS4 Slim itself is half the price of the cheaper version of the PS5. And you can get lots of used, good condition PS4 games for 20 bucks a pop. Just buy the older stuff, it'll be fine. You can get older games and consoles pretty cheap compared to new if you just go to a retro game store that specializes in selling that stuff. Now there are some old systems and games that are pretty expensive, but I can show you what you can get if you're on a real budget. I'll show you all the things you can get on different budgets at a retro game store and exactly how much it'll cost you. Now for the consoles, I couldn't find them at the retro game store, so I had to go online and find them. So let's start with the $100 budget. For this, I picked the Wii because its games were fairly cheap compared to the other systems. Now the Wii itself cost $67. And I found some games at the retro game store. I found Wheel of Fortune for $8, Wii Play for $8, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga for $6. I also found Super Smash Bros. Brawl for an extra 15 bucks if you're down for it. Now let's go to the more expensive stuff, starting with the PS2. Now the PS2 itself I found for $70 online, GTA 3 I found at the store for $6, I found Gran Turismo 3 for $6, I found Sega Classics Collection for $15, I found Star Wars Battlefront for $10, and Tetris Rolls for $6. Now the price of that goes all the way to $113. Now let's go to the most expensive, the OG Xbox. This was very expensive compared to the others. The Xbox itself cost $120. I found Halo for $10. Now Forza Motorsport was cheaper at only $4, I found Spider-Man for $10, and Sonic Heroes for $15, and I found another collection of games, Namco Museum, for only $6, totaling $165 with a budget of $175. It's pretty expensive, but you get some good games. So that's what you can get at a retro game store if you want to get into video games. But if you're already into video games and own a console, well don't worry because there are options. First, try not buying digitally. I know buying digital games is all the rage these days, but you can easily get the game you want at a cheaper price if you just buy physically. Now just buying a brand new game at a Best Buy or GameStop isn't going to be any cheaper than buying digitally, which is why you have to buy used. Buying games used can be way cheaper than buying new, as long as you know where to look. You see, GameStop is notorious for selling used games at a cheaper price than new. And you can get used games there for a pretty good price compared to new. But I found that shopping online on eBay and Amazon is far better than going to a GameStop. On Amazon, you can find any game you want at multiple price points and in different conditions. If you don't care how beat up the game is and just want a game that works, you can get it. If you want a game that's in like new condition, you can also get that. Now, not every game on Amazon has as much variety in the price and condition. Sometimes you just gotta get what they have. But most of the time, there's still good variety, and you can get games pretty cheap. But those occurrences can still happen. Now, on eBay, it's similar in that it has different price points and different conditions that you can get the game in. But the difference here is you can actually see what you're getting. You see, on Amazon, they just give generic pictures of what the product is supposed to look like. And if you buy used, who knows what it's actually going to look like when you open the package. You can see what condition the case is in, what condition the disc is in, if it comes with included manuals or guides, or if it's just game only. But that's my problem with eBay. If you really want to get a game at a cheap price, you're going to have to be fine with getting disc only. Now, that's probably not a problem for most people, but if you're the button collector like me, you can understand my frustration. But like I said, you can get big discounts if you buy used. Now that I'm done giving shopping advice to everybody and telling everybody to buy used games, 
I can finally live in peace and harmony knowing that Breath of the Wild is only 30 bucks. On the Wii U.